Man. This is, uh, this is, this is fantastic, man. I'm from New York. I'm from Lower East Side, Manhattan, which is a gentrified neighborhood. And, uh, if you don't know what gentrified means, it's basically when a bunch of white people move to a messed up neighborhood <laughs> and then open up cupcake stores everywhere for some reason. I don't know. And so even in a recession, too, and I know it's a recession because I went to one of those Occupy Wall Street marches because I wanted to see some protesters get tased, and <laughs> I saw a white lady there holding a sign that said, damn the police. <laughs> I wanted to rob her on principle, <laughs> but just to see how committed she was. <laughs> it's cool. I mean, you know, it's, uh, New York's cool. I, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very liberal town, you know? And I get, I get afraid with liberal audiences because, you know, liberal audiences are sometimes more conservative than conservative audiences, you know? Because liberal people are only people that get offended on behalf of people that's not even at the show. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, think, I, think I'm, I think I'm liberal because I'm poor and I'm black, but... I also listen to a lot of gangster rap, which is probably the most conservative thing you could possibly do. <laughs> I didn't give money to Mitt Romney's campaign, but I did buy Kanye West tickets, and that's similar. <laughs> I basically just gave somebody money to listen to how irresponsibly he wanted to spend my money. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, people keep talking about the recession, you know, it's, it's not that bad, man. We still got shows on TV like The Biggest Loser. <laughs> we got so much food in this country, we gotta figure out contests of how not to eat it all. <laughs> Messed up countries don't have that. There's no Biggest Loser Ethiopia. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I do, I do think the gay marriage, I think, that's a big, I think that's a big issue, you know? I'm for gay marriage because I can't think of a good reason to be against it. I heard this one guy on TV, he goes, come on, man, you can't let gay people get married. What's next? People are gonna wanna marry animals? And I was like, yep. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I eat animals. If you wanna marry one, that's your business. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm doing the worst thing to it. <laughs> I, if I was a goat and you asked me, if you was like, yo, goat, <laughs> would you rather be chopped up in this Jamaican lady stew or marry this strange farmer? <laughs> it wouldn't be the toughest decision I made as a goat. I want to be in love anyway, man. I don't, I don't want to be in love. I'm a big fan of like, though. I'll take like over love any day. <laughs> Notice the difference? Obligation. If I like somebody, I get to like them till I don't like them no more, and then I can stop taking their calls as the way out is the end of it. If I love somebody, you love them forever, even if you don't like them no more. And there's nothing worse than being in love with somebody you can't stand, man. There's no exit strategy out of love. That's why if you watch the news, you'll see people kill loved ones all the time. Nobody ever kills people they like, though. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's watching you sleep through your bedroom window because you seem pretty cool. 